Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, December the 2nd. It's a lazy Saturday. I'm still in my house clothes. I'm not wearing a bra because I'm living life right now. I decided to film in my bathroom today because I feel like the lighting is really nice today and all of my stuff is in my bathroom, so it's just much easier for me to grab and reach stuff and I wanted to do something just like low-key and make it feel like we're just hanging out in my bathroom. So if there's a little bit of an echo here, I truly apologize for that. Hopefully it is not too awful. The reason why I decided to do this video is because a couple days ago, I posted a snap on my Insta stories asking you guys if you wanted to see a full face of makeup using my favorite makeup products of 2017. And like over 90% of you said, yes, you definitely want to see it. So that's what I'm doing today. That's why I'm sitting down and doing my makeup in the bathroom and um, let's get started. All right, so the first product I have been loving is this for Sally Rose Gold Elixir. Is this even focusing? Hello, hello. There we go. So this is the bottle right here. And I picked up the sample size because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not. And I'm really loving it. I usually put one drop on my forehead, one drop on my cheek. One drop on each cheek. And then I just gently pat that into my skin. So if you guys have been watching my channel from the very beginning, you probably heard me mention about a trillion times that my skin is more on the dry side. Especially in the winter time, my skin gets so dry and irritated. So this has really been keeping my skin nice and hydrated and it makes my makeup go on like a freaking dream. So I've been really liking this. Next up is foundation. Now I don't wear this foundation on a daily basis. I only use this foundation for events or if I'm filming because it looks amazing on camera. So this is the YSL All Hours Foundation and I'm in the shade B50. So this literally makes your skin look like perfection. What I usually do is put like two pumps in my hand and then depending on whether or not I self tanned, I will add a couple drops of this. This is also one of my favorite products. This is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. And I always get like the lightest shade, P20, because I like to get foundations and tinted moisturizers that are a shade or two darker than my natural skin tone because when I self tan, it's the perfect shade for me. And when my tan is fading, I just add a couple drops of this and it's Perfect. My face does look lighter than the rest of my body because I don't self tan my face But I think this is a perfect shade right now to match the rest of my body So I'm just going to add a couple drops of that and blend it in with my trusty beauty blender All right foundation is on and my face is matching my body now By the way guys if you are interested in knowing what my all-time favorite self tanner is I know this is not technically a makeup product, but I swear by Loving Tan. It's the only self-tanning cream that I use and love and it always turns out so nice and natural, so I highly recommend it. I also have a code that you can use. It's not an affiliate code and it's not going to get you any money off, but it will get you a free gift with purchase. And if you're wondering, this is my favorite. This is a two-hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in the shade Dark. Okay, now for concealer. This concealer I have been able to put down for the last, I would say, year and a half or two years. This is the Air Minerals Complete Coverage Bare Skin Concealer, and I am in the shade Light. I always have a backup of this because your girl is obsessed. To set my under eye, there is nothing better in my opinion than this right here. This is by Kat Von D. It's from the Shade and Light Contour Kit. It's called Lucid. I'm obsessed with this. I do have the full contour kit and I hit pan on this one. So I decided to get it in a single because I definitely use this shade more than anything else in that palette. I feel like this just gives you such a natural, beautiful finish under the eyes and it doesn't look cakey and it has absolutely no flashback. Moving on to brows, you guys know I can't live without my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencils. I use medium brown on the outer part of my eyebrow and taupe on the inner part of my eyebrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows off camera. Eyebrows are filled in and I'm feeling a lot more like myself. So let's move on to eyes. By the way guys, all of these products will be listed in my description box below. So if you are interested in checking any of these out 
Everything will be linked down below. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette. And this is a, whoops! This is a very, very special palette to me because my name is printed on the corner over there. This was a personalized palette that was sent to me in PR and I'm not gonna lie, I really did not want to use this because of that. It's so special and sentimental to me, but the colors in here are just so perfect and the reason why I love it is because it's so wearable. All the colors are so blendable and nicely pigmented and you can definitely build on the colors. You can do something very natural and simple and you can also do something really decked out and glam. So I'm going to create an eye look today using some of these shadows. I usually like mixing some shades from the desk eye and the date eye. Right now that eyeshadow is done, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my favorite liquid liner. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Excel ink liner. This liquid liner goes on like a freaking dream and it is so black. Plus, I really, really love the brush on it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my eyelids off camera. It's literally impossible to put eyeliner on my eyelids these days without getting it all over my eyelashes. First world problems, I know. Okay, so the mascara that I've been loving is by Benefit, they're real. I feel like this mascara gives me really, really good separation and length, which I really, really love because my eyelashes are really long and they can get clumpy real quick. By the way, this is what the brush looks like. You see it has a little ball on the edge with little spikes so you can get in those inner corner lashes super easy. All right, eyes are done. Now on to bronzing up the face. To bronze up the face, I've been obsessed with the Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula. This you can get at the drugstore. I did depot this, which was a really stupid idea because it was so hard to get out of the pan and I kind of digged into the outside of the product and cracked it a little bit, but I'm so happy I was able to put it into the Z palette because the real packaging for the Butter Bronzer is super bulky and it's really difficult to travel with. So I put it into the Z palette because I travel with it, so. It makes my life a lot easier. So Physician's Formula, if you are watching this, please make note and try to make your products a little bit more compact and travel friendly. Thank you so much. To contour my nose, I used to use powder for that, but recently I have been obsessed with this base contour pencil from Burberry. This is in medium number one, I believe. Yes, medium number one, and it looks like this. It's just like a little stick like that. And all I do is just trace the outside of that bone along my nose, just like that. And it makes it so easy to create those two straight lines. And then I just connect them at the tip right here. And because it is a cream product, it is so easy just to go in with your finger and blend it into the skin and it looks so natural. To blush up my cheeks, I have been obsessed with this Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade Sex on Fire. So what I like to do is go in into that outer shade like that, tap off the excess and hit the top of my cheek with it. And then I go into the center one and hit the apples of my cheeks. All right, so sometimes when using powders, it can look a little bit too powdery on the face. Not the case with these powders. They tend to sit on the face really, really nicely, but I like to go the extra step and just make sure that everything is nice and seamless. So I pick up a stippling brush. This is by Luxie, and I go in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Yes, I hit pan on the center one already. <laughs> so I go into this shade here and this shade here, go under the eyes, and then over all of the powders like that. So this sets all my makeup and also blends everything so it looks nice and seamless and like, it's just your skin, but better. 
Next is highlight, and I've been obsessed with the Stila Heaven's Hue highlighter in the shade Kitten. And it looks like this is just like a putty type texture highlight. And my favorite way of using it is with a damp beauty blender. So I take the butt of my damp beauty blender, I kind of squish it down like this, put it into the highlight and then put it on the tops of my cheekbones, along the bridge of my nose and on my chin and a little bit on my temples. So at this point when I'm done applying product to my forehead area, I like to set my brows. So normally I use this one. This is the Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom. This just like locks your brows in and sets it. It's supposed to be transparent, but as you can see, I've been using it and loving it a lot. So it has a lot of uh, product in it for my eyebrows in there. But I noticed that when I use that one on camera, for some reason my eyebrows kind of have like a grayish tint. I think it's because of my lights kind of going through my eyebrow hairs and just making my eyebrows look really faded. So I've been using this one. This is the Givenchy Mr. Brow Filler in the shade 01 Brunette. So it is exactly the same product, exactly the same brush, except this one has a tint to it. All right, next I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite lip combo of this year. I did a mini tutorial on it on YouTube a couple of weeks ago because a lot of you guys have been asking me what is the lip combo I'm wearing on my lips. So first I start off with this. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Liner and I think this is in the shade 114 Mating Call and that's what that looks like. So I just use that to line my lips and fill them in a little bit. And then what I like to do is just go in with, and then what I do is just go into my finger and smudge out that mark and kind of like bring it up towards the center of my lips. Lips, not lips. Get it together, Nikki. Kind of just softens the line and makes it look a lot more natural. Then I go in with this nude lipstick, also by Charlotte Tilbury. It is in the shade Kim KW. And yes, there's a nice dent mark in it because I dropped it. Like I do with pretty much everything in my life. And I like just to concentrate this kind of in the center of my lips. Just like that. And then again, I like to go with my finger and blend everything in. God, my lips are so dry right now. And then the last step for the lips is this kind of lip balm or tinted lip balm. This is by Burt's Bees. This is called the Gloss Lip Crayon in the shade Outback Oasis. And this is what it looks like. Just like a glossing crayon with a little bit of pigment to it and it just keeps my lips nice and moisturized and kind of ties in the lip liner with the lipstick. I love it. It's like the perfect nude for my skin tone. And then the last step is to set everything and I have been obsessed with this Pixi Skin Treats Glow Mist with propolis and argan oil and all I do is just shake it up because it has oil in it. This is great for dry skin, I'm not sure what it would be like for oily skin, but I really been loving it for my skin type. All I do is do like a few sprays like that. And that is it. And now I can put my earrings on because you're not gonna get any makeup on them. And this is the finished makeup look using all of my favorite makeup products of 2017. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Like I already mentioned, everything that I talked about in the video will be in my description box below. So feel free to check that out. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.